A little while ago, Clark sent the boys and I this fantastic video by Benny Has a Problem. Content creators ruin your games and when this came out, he sent it to us and I watched it at the time and I immediately put it in my react soon playlist over here that I have for all of my channels and I definitely wanted to react to it for this channel. So my point being, I've seen the video, but I don't exactly remember all the points in it, but I'm excited to react to it today, guys. I would love for you to hear me out and of course, Benny is a prom. Go show Benny some love and I would love to know as always what you guys think about the topic down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's watch content creators ruining your games we content creators aren't ruining everything are we biggest fucking losers in the world is that <laughs> and we're already starting off with ninja and i'm sorry my face cam's covering it i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah, do, season <laughs> is absolute dog fucking water if i was a five-year-old that still loved cool cars i would be i would be having the time of my life yeah and he made this video right after that ninja clip went viral but he's a 33 year old grown man who wants to drive cars not drive cars he wants to shoot people Come on, say it. Say it. I'm a 32 year old grown <laughs> man that likes to fucking shoot things, right? In video <laughs> 33 now. 33. Who likes to shoot things? Games. And now I have to drive a vehicle around and pray that I run into people that have a worse vehicle than me, right? A two year old, that baby from the Four Seasons, or who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Me! You could give that kid a controller, and he could probably kill me seven out of ten times. If well, that's an issue now, a ninja, isn't it? That's an issue of the two-year-old's killing he you. He had the turret and was just driving around. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let ninja shoot things. I think you need a nut milk. Yeah, I need fucking something. So you're probably wondering where I'm going with this. You see, recently I got really into a game called Withering Waves. I've been following this company since their first game, Punishing Grey Ravens, and this game coming out is something that I'm very excited that they're going to be making. By I actually, I haven't heard about that game. I gotta, I gotta to check that out. Looking up trailers and stuff from the official channel, YouTube and Twitter and everything has decided to start bombarding me with content creator content. Uh oh. Content creator content. Now that makes sense. It sounds weird when you say it out loud, but it makes sense. And that means that I'm getting bombarded with videos such as don't make these mistakes day one <laughs> Yes, and this is a problem that a lot of people and this I know this relates to you guys in the Fortnite community here But this is pretty much in every single game like every single gaming community Everybody has this problem where it's like well, why can't I sit back and have fun? But it's tough because I'm interested to see if we end up getting a little bit of a solution in this video because it's tough to find a solution for something like this. But I don't even think it's necessarily a problem. I don't. I just think that everybody needs to... If, if you're really that bent out of shape because someone's killing you, you need to do a little bit better. Withering waves, best builds based on closed beta, whatever. And my favorite, Withering Waves is going to die. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fortnite's not the only one that deals with it. I know, like, it's... Like, Fortnite's dealt with that way more than pretty much any game ever but and like other games definitely deal with this if this doesn't change right now if people don't stop getting better at the game this game is finished clicking any of these in particular videos is going to lead you to a person that says that they've already put in 10 to 20 hours they've already been putting in tons of time on a daily basis and they can tell you this game isn't going to make it in the long run why do you think that is and I know, the, I know the point that he's going to get to, but think about that. All these people who just spend all of their time doing nothing but playing video games and then get burnt out and they're like, oh, well, nobody else must like this game because my, well, how I feel is how the rest of the world feels. Well, obviously, everybody needs to feel the same way as me. And this got me thinking. Content creators, from Twitch streamers to YouTubers to guys reading a bunch of comic books, we are very jaded, which causes a problem for our content. You see... The short story of all of this is, it pays to hate things. People love to click rage bait titles that say things like, Wuthering Waves is going to overtake Genshin, <laughs> or Wuthering Waves is going to die out now. It's true, and I always find that interesting about the human race, to be honest with you, but it makes sense. It's a lot more interesting than, like, all these reasons why, or, like, think about this. Is, is it called Withering Waves? I'm sorry, I've never heard of the game. I don't mean to be disrespectful. Withering Waves is going to live forever, or is Withering Waves going to die? 10 reasons why I love Withering Waves or Withering Raves is finished. <laughs> what video is going to be clicked on? I just find that fascinating about the human race, why everybody is so drawn to controversy and stuff like that. Or this is why DC Comics sucks now. Or over here is why Fortnite is going to die. Or Minecraft is on its last leg. The, and the people that are making these videos, 
are also playing hundreds upon hundreds of hours of this mm -hmm. content or reading hundreds and hundreds of hours of DC Comics. And they, they, it's such a skewed opinion and it's so like completely far from reality. I know there's people and it doesn't even have to be a content creator. The people who come around like we'll take we'll keep talking about Fortnite for the sake of the video because of course we have a Fortnite channel. For the people who are always like, oh, Fortnite's finished. Fortnite's dead. It's the people who, one, care way too much about the game, try way too hard, and they get upset when somebody kills them. And two, they play it way too much. As Jojo Josiah says, you guys, not you guys, of course, like I'm speaking in general over here, you may be an absolute exception to this. It's okay to lose interest in something, but you can't treat Fortnite like it's your religion, man. Or Marvel Comics. I'm pointing at myself if you're listening to this. You see what happens to us content creators is the exact same thing that happens to you normally when you consume too much of the same thing. We get burnt out of it and we begin to hate on it. And yeah, if you don't understand, if you don't play video games that much, think about literally anything in your life. I'm sure you've done something too much. I'm sure you've watched a movie too many times where it just doesn't hit the same anymore. Then you just, you don't start, you could start hating it, but you don't hate it. You just kind of get the opinion like, Eh, I don't care. But while I have the benefit of being able to swap from DC Comics to Marvel Comics to manga to something else to kind of reinvigorate my love for the for the medium, people in the gaming sphere, not so much, which causes a lot of issues. It's actually the reason I stopped live streaming. We've all seen the clips of like Ninja, uh, a <laughs> Twitch streamer, if you haven't heard, who plays a lot of Fortnite, freaking out about playing Fortnite. And it's the negativity that draws it back in too. And I, I was always talking about it. You guys talk about it. Everybody knows it, right? Everybody's seen the clip. Or the people having issues with the current modern day Call of Duty and then freaking out because current Call of Duty isn't very good. Or going crazy because Overwatch 2 isn't doing as well as Overwatch 1. And now that's another thing that, and I know he, I, I, he jumped, like, not, he didn't jump the gun. Like, I, I paused the video a little bit too late. But the people always talking about where it's like, here, you know what? I'll rewind it. I'll rewind it. Is with the current modern day Call of Duty and then freaking out because <laughs> current Call of Duty isn't very good. Just because you don't like something anymore, and that's a very, very important distinction to make. Just because you don't like something anymore, it's a huge problem now today, doesn't mean that it's not good. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's crap. Doesn't mean that other people can't enjoy it. It's something that people need to really think about, to be honest. Or going crazy because Overwatch 2 isn't doing as well as Overwatch 1. <laughs> but what all of these... Take Fortnite Reload, for example, right now. The day it launched, what was trending on subreddit for Fortnite BR was like, oh, well, obviously people want to play Fortnite. They're sick of BR. And it's like, yeah, no, everybody's just trying the new mode, man. Everybody's being so dishonest. Content creators seem to forget is that there is a ton of people who don't care about what the internet thinks and just want to play these games. And, and that's the vast majority of players. I would say the vast majority of people online or people in general are NPCs, but there's a lot of players who just do not go online. They just log on. They play their game. They log off. They don't go on Twitter. They don't consume content. That's the majority of people. And I'm as guilty as anyone else sitting here complaining about Marvel and DC comic books. But how many people do you know get to read every single book every week? <laughs> it creates a very jaded situation where you come to hate the thing that you're doing. And when you come to hate the thing that you're doing, you begin to look for problems with it because you're trying to justify your hatred of it. It's an interesting distinction. And honestly, really, really good on the creator for noticing that because... A lot of people, like, a lot of people in his situation would just really sit back and go, Wow, well, Marvel sucks. DC sucks. Everything sucks. I'm upset with my life, and everyone else should be too, because I'm not happy. So, honestly, that is, it's sad, but it's sad that I have to really pause this and really show my appreciation for somebody like this. Your hatred can't be that you're spending 10 hours a day on one video game. Your hatred must be coming from the game you are playing. That is where videos such as, this game is a failure, this game is dead on arrival, what are we going to do, seem to stem out of. Whenever I see a video like that or a post like that, I look into it and it's somebody who made an entire career playing the game. The people <laughs> who are hating on Destiny 2 right now are people who played way too much Destiny too. Because if you're the average individual who gets to play these video games or read these comics or go to events, then on average, you get maybe an hour a night to spend time with these games. You're, uh, he's absolutely right in that sense. He's absolutely 100% correct. And to spend time with what is going on. Meaning you don't care. 
if guy who spent a thousand hours on Destiny is mad at it at this point. <laughs> Most people look at it and go, hey, touch grass. What's that guy doing with his life? You know what I mean? I'm not talking about a content creator. I'm talking about somebody who just does nothing with their life but play the game. Yeah, you don't care. It means that you're currently at hour 10 and you're still just enjoying baseline Destiny. I have an example from my own life, an anecdote, if you will, that I can draw upon as an example of this situation. Because don't I seem to have a lot of these? I always have something related to the topic I'm making. It's like I plan these out like that. Anyway, <laughs> on my podcast channel, we brought in a brand new YouTuber who was huge on TikTok. He had finally hit a level of fame where people recognized who he was. And he came to me all excited about this because he wanted to be a part of our our project because he wanted to be more inside of the Marvel. All right, sorry, I have to I have to pause it at some point because I'm getting a little bit too. I, I have to pause every. I think it's every 15 seconds for reaction video. So I hate to interrupt his story. I really, really do. But that's a cool shelf he's got back there. It's a really cool shelf. He's got a play button. We love to see that. Actually. I, I gotta watch more of this guy's videos, man, because I, I like this video the first time and I'm enjoying it the second time and I remember why I wanted to react to it. Well, in DC TV show and movie system. He got all excited and the first year he joined us was literally traveling around the world with his newfound fame and the luxuries that come out of when you first get big on YouTube. And he would always ask me, Benny, come to this convention with me. Benny, I got us tickets to this red carpet. Come with me. Oh, Benny, I see. do this, do that. And he just ended up resenting any idea of some sort of convention. And I would always tell him, I'm all set. I'm good. Now, that makes me sound either crazy introverted or very <laughs> full of myself. But what it really comes down to is very jaded on the whole situation. You see, I've been doing what I do <laughs> for 12 to 13 years. I've done, I think, at least one time every major convention in the United States. And I get that. You see where he's kind of making he's kind of making his point over here. And I'm sure any one of you, like I said earlier in the video, I'm sure any one of you watching this could relate that into your own life somehow where you've done something too much. You've invested too much time thinking about something or you just don't want to anymore. And so many people reflect that about video games. For some reason, when we have that attitude towards games, that's not the case. It must be because it must be because the game sucks. It must be because Fortnite's losing players fast. I've been invited to multiple red carpet things. And this is not me trying to brag. Because what eventually happens is you just get tired of doing it. You get very jaded and you don't want to go. While a normal person would be told, hey, I got us red carpet tickets to go see. <laughs> I don't even know what Marvel movie it was at the time. It didn't do well, but whatever one it was, a normal person would go, yes, I so want to do that. Let me figure it out. When you've started to do this stuff so much, you just don't care anymore. Yeah, and that's and that's the unfortunate reality of life. It's too bad too, you know. You would think that if you were designing the perfect human race, if somebody liked something, but maybe there's a reason for it that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. May I'm trying to think of like some biological perspective why we get bored of things. Maybe it's because maybe it's to prevent addictions, but we still have addictions. Maybe it has something to do with the Coolidge effect. I'm honestly not too entirely sure. Maybe it's time like I don't know, man. Think about like. Back in the day, you're eating from a blueberry bush or something. You get tired of the blueberries because you need to go back and protect your wife and kids instead of spending your whole day at, like, a strawberry bush. You know what I mean? I don't really know. I don't know, man. I'm trying to think of it. Like, it's weird because if I like something, it would be it, it sucks that I can't just watch my favorite movie over and over again without getting bored. I don't know, but... Then again, yeah, it would it would suck. I'm getting off topic, doesn't matter. And this relates to what is going on with the world of video games. You have people that are trying to make their bones, trying to be that new YouTuber, and they find themselves a niche video game. When they get big into the niche video game, they then do nothing but play the niche video <laughs> game, which almost turns them into the worst person ever to actually get advice on your <laughs> niche video game. These people are going to throw out things such as metas and builds in a game like Destiny or mm -hmm. League of Legends. But there's a problem with that because I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with making those videos or talking about metas or figuring out the best way to win. I still view that as playing the game. I still look at that like, hey, that that's the fun part of the game is getting better, figuring out the best strategy, using the best weapons, using the best attachments. I don't see an issue with that, but I understand the other perspective. But when they're playing the game, a thousand hours a week, they're going to have a skill level way beyond us, us, the average individual. And they're going to have opinions that you cannot replicate. 
And it's coming out of the fact that this is all that they do. <laughs> and that goes back to my situation with the guy who invited me to do a bunch of things. Another great example I have of that is my wife is from France, which means I go to Paris every couple of years. Oh, I can, I can totally relate that. When did I pause the video? <laughs> I can totally relate that because my wife is her thing is Disney. Her family always takes a trip to Disney. I have done a Disney trip so many times where it's okay to me if I never, ever, ever go there again. Honestly, like, and it's not, it doesn't come from a hate or anything. It's just like, I've seen it. I don't care anymore. That's really all there is to it. And a lot of people, when I say, hey, I'm going to Paris with my wife to see her family, the reaction is, oh, it's so lovely. You're going to love it. You're going to have a great time. But after the sixth trip to Paris, and every time them bring him to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Dude, I so relate to this. I 100% relate to this. I am compl it's the same thing for me but with Florida. And Florida's beautiful by the way. Like uh, we've talked about moving to Florida too, but it's just it, like long story short, we can't with family, but it's just I, I can completely relate to the same thing. I'm talking specifically with like Disney. It's just a piece of metal in the middle of the city. There's nothing cool about it at this point. Again, anybody else would be like, "Oh my god, I'm I'm going out to the Eiffel Tower. This is going to be amazing." And again, I'm not trying to brag, I'm going over to see the in-laws. It's not as much fun as you want to make it seem like it is. When you end up doing things over and over and over and over, the thrill isn't there. You begin to hate on it and you're trying to find a rationale why you don't want to go. Logic <laughs> and this is where I'm honest with people where I just say, nah, I'm good. I can look at my trips to Paris and just say, because every single time I go, I get irritated because it's the same tourist attractions because they think I want to see it when I go. So we spend a whole day and I go do this whole thing in Paris. And then I <laughs> imagine, imagine the in-laws just come across this video like, hey, what's Benny been uploaded? <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? I spend the other 13 days of our two week trip sitting in a house on the countryside doing nothing fun. It's not a fun trip. I'm not a big fan of it at this point, but it was amazing those first couple of times. So what I'm getting at is I firmly believe that we've entered into an era where content is mostly focused on rage inducing content that people need to, you gotta click this to get my opinion. One thing that really gets on my nerves is the vague content stuff, <laughs> which I'll- it's, it's what you have to do now. I've dove into it a couple times, but not so much. And my Cleverversations channel, I'm really bad for that. Admit, we've done on this channel because that's how YouTube has grown, but I hate it. I hate making a title like, these YouTubers ruined their career. Because you're just, <laughs> something in your brain goes, what YouTubers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. It's so true. You know, this game killed itself before it launched. Like the Dude, what about like, like bring it back to Fortnite, like, <laughs> this is the end. The Wanderer is here. Or even just... He's here, you know? <laughs> it's funny. Big title just to make you click it. I hate that this is where YouTube is going and this is what I have to do to make a channel work. What's interesting is it seems to be correcting itself a little bit. Like the old raw videos are coming back. The normal titles, like regular thumbnails, like moist critical uploads, that type of stuff is making a huge comeback. But it's what everyone is doing. Everyone wants to make the rage bait titles, which is easy when you have been surrounding yourself with that one thing that everyone else is enjoying, but you are getting jaded about and therefore you want to quantify why you're beginning to hate it. Back when I used to do Twitch streaming, I played entirely on Final Fantasy 14. That was my big game. After so long, I was just looking for things to not like in Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> when I stopped playing it on stream, suddenly I enjoyed myself again. I just had a great time playing the game again. Yeah, it's because you're not you're not overwhelmed by it. It hasn't consumed your life. You can enjoy what there is to enjoy. So. That's pretty much it. At this point, I feel like I'm going to talk in circles on this topic. But overall, what I'm getting at is, what do you think? Do you think content creators surrounding themselves with nothing but that game or that product hundreds and hundreds of hours a week is causing problems? Is it creating... Is it's definitely causing problems because, in, it, because, like, let's take Ninja, for example. And I have... And I know that some of you on this channel have criticized it. It's a completely fair criticism, to be honest with you, because I call a lot of people NPCs, but you need to look around you and realize how many people actually are bots, how many people actually don't think for themselves, because people like Ninja will overwork himself, do nothing but play Fortnite, and end up hating the game, which makes sense, and it's understandable. But then he'll spout the opinion that this thing sucks, and I understand the cars are an outlier. The cars could be looked at as objectively bad. Topic of conversation for another time, but I'm just going to use the cars for an example, okay? I'm not saying, like, 
He ta- he's talked about many other things in the past, but he'll say, oh, this thing sucks, but he spent too much time with it. And now the NPCs of the world, which is the majority of people, are going to look at that and just adapt that opinion, man. It's crazy. So I think that's a huge problem, but I completely disagree with the idea that making all of these videos like, oh, this is the way to win. You do this. You do this. Best meta here. I think that's great. I think that that's helpful for people who want to get better at the game. A situation where they're just so jaded, they don't understand what the regular person would feel like with an event. Because that's how I feel. I feel we're at a point where I just need to ignore all of YouTube. Don't ignore me, though. I'm amazing. You want to hit that button. You got to hit that subscribe. <laughs> and I support, guys. The links will be in the pinned comment description down below if you want to go show the channel some love. Because and I got to watch more of it myself because I re I actually really, really enjoy this video. And I, I hope you guys did as well. I, I, I need to do more cool stuff. So, you know, please, please stick around. Like, <laughs> and that's the end of the video. The notification bell. <laughs> guys, that was a really, really good video. And honestly, I it comes down to just I don't understand like what we were talking about earlier. I don't get why people need to treat their video games like a religion. I don't get why so many people can't just take breaks if they're starting to feel like they're disliking the game or they're playing it too much. Because a lot of people know that they play too much, but they continue to play. Just find something else to do. Play a different game. A lot of times when you play other games, you come back to your game, you come back to Fortnite, you end up loving it so much more. Just like it was mentioned in this video. There's really not too much to dissect here because it's that simple. If you find yourself playing a game too much, disliking it, or not caring about it, you need to find something else to do, whether it's play a new game, whether it's take up a new hobby, or whether it's just doing something. You need to change because there are so many people who play this game way too much and just come back and hate it. And it's so important to know, like it was mentioned in this video, just because you're tired of a game doesn't mean the majority of people are tired of a game. It's okay to be tired of a game. It's okay to not even like a game. It's okay to have a change of heart and hate things. That's totally okay. It just doesn't mean that the game is finished. The game is dying. I think that people, when it comes to content creators, like it was mentioned in this video, when content creators come in and just not necessarily rage bait, but the people who are just saying false things like, okay, Fortnite's dying, Fortnite's finished, the dishonest posts about that stuff, I think that does hurt the player base because, again, people will just parrot that. The only thing that I think is okay to make is, and I understand why people hate it, why people are always, like, even before the game's out, like, this is the gun you need to use on the first day. If somebody wants to come out and play the game on the first day and be the best of the first day, I don't care. Who cares? If you get killed by that guy, what? I don't understand why people get so bent out of shape. The only people I understand getting emotional about video games are the people playing cash cups. Even then, I would say don't get emotional, but that's at least an understandable take. But there's a lot to break down there, and I'll be in the comments, guys, and I would love to have this as a comments of the week video. I want to make one of those soon, so comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire situation, and please, please, guys, go show Benny has a problem some love over on the channel over here because this is a fantastic video I will be watching more myself we got a new subscriber cup bang not that that means much coming from me but <laughs> thank you very very much for watching the video everybody again links will be in the description pin comment down below but if you are interested in watching more of my personal reaction content you can find it on screen right here one video here one video here I will see you over guys in the next video take care